Yumiko just uh, showed me something really interesting. Uh, this uh, magazine has a beautiful uh, Japanese kokeshi wooden doll uh, featured on the outside. I saw it. It was sitting here on the table. I walked past several times and didn't think much of it. I love kokeshi. I have a nice collection of them myself. And then Yumiko looked at it and she kind of issued a, a startled uh, expression. Oh, my goodness. When she <laughs> opened up and read about it, look at this. This kokeshi is, in fact, an emergency flashlight. Check that out. You just pick it up. It's got this uh, base here that has the, uh, has, it says right here, Sora Pawaru. I'm probably not saying that very well, but solar panels right here that charge it up. So you've got an emergency. You just run and, you know, grab the kokeshi. And you, off you go, and you're set. You've got it. Now, what's really cool, this is in Miyagi, Miyagi and uh, apparently they're going to be, this is going to do something like Molly's doing, trying to uh, sell products to raise funds and also to uh, boost employment in, in the affected area. So if this is a big hit throughout Japan, uh, instead of buying these little sumo things, you can buy the flashlight, then they will uh, be able to um, uh, increase employment in that area and help to rebuild the area. Fascinating. What an incredible idea. And the price then is a mere uh, 27,000 yen, uh, 28,350 with tax. In, uh, uh, it's Takai, yeah? <laughs> Six, <laughs> okay, man, I'm talking, you know, everything's good to help out, but wow. That's like as much as a real nice antique kokeshi. Or more. Yeah, or more. Wow, that's an expensive flashlight, but really cool. All right. Grab the kokeshi.